We're in Hyper-V on a Windows 2016 server, and I'm going to install uh, Windows Server 2019 as a Hyper-V on this 2016 server. So first thing i got to do is I have to make sure I have my ISO file ready, which I do. There's my Insider ISO file with 2019 on it. Now I'm going to go into Hyper-V, and you have to have already installed it. And if you haven't done that, you can go to the Add Roles and Features and go to the server roles and just make sure Hyper-V is checked and then restart. All right, so once we're in there, we'll go ahead and open up Hyper-V from the server manager and we'll right click on our host and say new virtual machine. And a wizard comes up, go ahead and click next. And I'll just call this uh, 2019 server just so we know what it is just by looking at it. And if you want to store the virtual machine in a different location, you can do so now. We'll go ahead and browse and we'll choose virtual machines. Go ahead and click next. And we want to choose generation two. Generation two can be uh, Windows Server 2012 or newer and 64 bit, of course. Next. And we want to give it some memory. So I would suggest you do at least uh, eight gigs, which would be eight, eight, approximately 8,000 megabytes. But if you have more to give, then I would suggest you do that as well. I'll go ahead and give it roughly 12 gigabytes. And we'll choose that it will be connected. And it's just confirming the size that I want to use, the location. I'm going to use a lot less than that since it's just a test one. So I'll just say 50 gigabytes. And I'm going to say, yes, we want to install the operating system. So I'm going to browse to the desktop, which is where I left my ISO file. And there it is right there. Double click on it. And it's going to use that to install 2019. And there's my 2019 server. So let's go ahead and before we start it up, let's right click on it and choose settings. Make sure we have the maximum settings we can give it. So I'm going to go to Task Manager in the taskbar, just to make sure I don't give this too much or too little in the settings area. And I'm going to go to Performance. So you can see I've got a lot of memory here. I've got 76 gigs of memory, and I'm only currently using 5%. So if I wanted to do more than 12 gigs, I certainly could. On the processor side, I'm only using 8% of my processors, and I have a total here of 8 cores. So I could certainly give it a lot more than a single processor, which it gives it by default. So let's go ahead and cancel that. And we'll go into where it says processor. And I'm going to go ahead and give it four of the eight processors. I'm going to leave the host with four as well. And we'll go ahead and click OK. And now we'll double click on the server. And I'll just go ahead and maximize it so it's easier to see there. And we'll click the start button. I'm putting in my key, which is just a Windows Insider key, so it's not a purchased key. We'll go ahead and click Next. And we want to make sure we choose the desktop experience. Otherwise, you'll get basically a command prompt, which is the core version. Let's go ahead and click Next. Now, if you want to choose the core version, that's fine, too. We'll go ahead and accept the licensing terms and click Next. We want to make sure we choose Custom Install. Don't choose Upgrade because there's nothing to upgrade. We're starting out with a brand new virtual machine. Go ahead and click Next. And now the installation begins. As we can see, after a few minutes, the installation is complete. And we can go ahead and log in for our first time. So just you go to the Task Manager and see if you have enough resources for your virtual machine or if the processor or the RAM is pegged. And you can easily tell that once you log in. And once we're logged in, we just go to our taskbar at the bottom. And we can see that our CPU is stretched out and now it's going down, 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 which is good. So the setup is finishing up, and we have plenty of memory, so we're doing okay. A couple other things you can do is you can go to View and choose Full Screen Mode. It makes it a little bit easier to see. And if you change your mind on that, just go to the Restore Down button. 
And if you need to log in, you can always click the Control Alt Delete button at the top instead of using the Control Alt Delete keys, which would just cause that to happen on your host. So that's how you install uh, Windows Server 2019 Virtual Machine on a Windows Server.